Hello comrades, it's the Finnish Bolshevik. According to Russian and international media, Ukrainian drones have struck against the Russian airfield in Murmansk, close to the Finnish border, at least twice this month. The earliest attack was on September 11th. The news first reached most Finnish people when Finnish tabloids reported that Russia blames Finland for this attack. There was never any doubt that the drones were Ukrainian, but some Russian sources, which were actually mostly just posts on social media, etc., claimed that Finland or Norway might be the launching area of the Ukrainian drones. There was some initial uncertainty, since both the Finnish government and the Russian government did not comment anything, and the only news that we had was the Finnish media responding with hostility to the Russian accusations. The following day, September the 12th, the Finnish Armed Forces Command officially denied taking any part in the attack. They told the Finnish state media that, quote, the claims that the drones were launched from Finland are not true. Finnish territory has not been used and is not being used for the alleged actions against Russia, unquote. And the Russian government also stated that, quote, it warns against perceiving various electronic media as primary sources of information, said the press secretary of the Russian president, Dmitry Peshkov, commenting on the reports that drones in the Murmansk region could have arrived from Norway, unquote. So when he's talking about electronic media, he's basically saying that just because somebody on, like, the Russian social media or on some crappy internet tabloid or blog says something, it's not actually the position of the Russian government. To put this into perspective, Murmansk is almost 2,000 kilometers from Ukraine, but it's 200 kilometers from Finland. Could the Ukrainian drones have flown nearly 2,000 kilometers to strike against Murmansk? Well, the answer seems to be yes. That's what a lot of authorities are saying. Ukraine has also struck other targets which are not close to Ukraine. And we have to remember that these drones are basically just more or less regular aircraft or fighter jets, but they're just unmanned. They're remote controlled. It is perhaps useless to speculate further regarding Finland's or Norway's potential involvement. None of the governments involved in this issue, the Russian government, American government, Norwegian government and the Finnish government, none of them can really be fully trusted to be truthful. However, it would be very unwise and surprising if the Finnish or Norwegian governments were involved. And the evidence seems to be pointing towards the fact that they're not, and there's no reason to assume that they were. The Finnish government is already arming Ukraine and has been sending tons of weapons to Ukraine throughout the war and is thus already involved in the imperialist war. Such a policy can only escalate the war, prolong the war, and further ties Finland to the imperialist conflict. It is an anti-national policy, subjugating Finnish sovereignty and Finnish interests under NATO and EU capitalist interests. Such a policy is irresponsible and can only be pursued by traitors to our country. If the Finnish government were to allow Ukraine to launch drones from Finland, it would be making our country an active staging area for imperialist war on behalf of the American and German banks, risking imminent war with Russia. And every Finnish person, regardless of their political views, should condemn such a policy. But luckily, we are not at that point yet. Although Ukraine has been using drones throughout the whole war, the drone warfare has intensified in 2024, and in May 2024, the US President Biden, NATO General Secretary Stoltenberg, and various Western leaders have stated that they now give Ukraine permission to use weapons provided by them to strike Russian territory. This, together with Ukraine's intervention into Kursk in Russia, is a clear demonstration of the increased sharpening of the inter-imperialist conflict in Europe.